Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module Packet Sniffers Section Wireshark Packet Sniffer Demo. Wireshark is world's foremost and widely used network protocol analyzer. It lets you see what's happening on your network at a microscopic level. Wireshark is popular across many commercial, non profit enterprises government agencies and educational institutions. Wireshark development thrives on volunteer contributions of network experts around the globe. This is the web page of Wireshark and download a suitable version. Stable version is 2.4.3. This is the latest release and I want to download the 64-bit Windows installer. When I click on it, the pop-up comes. This is 55 MB file and I will save it to the desktop. This is installable. When you double click on this, you will get a USC pop-up that is user account control permissions to install this software. And uh, click yes, then the setup will run. Click next, accept license agreement and then on the next page, choose the components what you want to install. You have Wireshark network protocol analyzer, T Shark that is text based protocol analyzer, Y Shark 1, this is classic user interface, plugins and extensions are available, tools, this is additional command line based tools and offline copy of user guide. You select all the options that is advised and click next. You can leave these additional tasks as defaults and click next. And it will ask the path where to install. Choose the install location and click next. It will ask you whether to install WinPCAP. WinPCAP is required to capture live network data. WinPCAP is already installed on this PC. That's the reason this is not highlighted. WinPCAP is the Windows version of Live PCAP library. It includes a driver to support capturing packets. Wireshark uses this library to capture. The next one it's going to ask is whether to install USB PCAP. USB PCAP is open source USB sniffer for Windows. Check this one to install this. Click on install. It will extract the set of files and then start installing it. And the installation is complete. Then click next. We are ready to go. Click finish to run Wireshark. This is Wireshark network analyzer interface. And it will show you all the interfaces here and the waves here indicate the traffic is on these interfaces. When you click on capture options, interface options are displayed. Under this promise case mode, it can capture all the traffic that's on the wire even if it's not meant for this particular NIC. This is capture interfaces information. It is showing all the interfaces. On this wireless connection, this is available on this IP address. This is a Wi-Fi connection and this is the address. The traffic flow is here. By default, monitor mode is not selected. By default, promise case mode is enabled on all the interfaces. Click start. We have not selected the monitor mode. That's the reason no packets are captured. Nothing is shown here. Go back to the capture interfaces option and select this monitor mode and then click start. And it starts monitoring. We have run a test ping to 8888 and the data is captured here. This PC is a 228 and this is source destination is 8888. Protocol is ICMP length and this is the request. Second packet is Response from 8888, which is source and the destination is to do it. ICMP protocol and this is ICMP reply. So request, reply, request, reply. You can further explore all the options and you can study the packets. Additional Wireshark features include it understands encapsulation of different networking protocols. It can parse and display the fields. Live data can be read from different types of networks including Ethernet, 802.11, TPP and loopback, etc. Data can be read from a file of pre-captured packets. 
Voice over IP calls in the captured traffic can also be detected. Various settings, timers and filters can be set. Thanks for watching.